Hello friends, this is Aditya and you're watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, in this video, we have a special guest and he is Mr. Aditya Singh Ratnu, who is the CEO of Zivo India. Basically, Zivo is a fleet operating company in our India and they are using electric vehicles for their services. And I think first time in India, a fleet operation company is offering their services in refrigerated vehicles. So in this video, let's have a chat with Mr. Aditya Singh Radno and let's know about their business model and how they are going to participate in the EV industry and to save the pollution. Hello, Mr. Aditya Singh Radno, how are you? Very good, sir. Thank you for the warm welcome. Yeah, it's, it's my pleasure. So, before getting into the interview, please introduce yourself to our audience. So, hi, I'm uh, Aditya Singh Ratnu, uh, founder and CEO of Zivo, Zivo India. So, Zivo, as our name suggests, we stand for Zero Emission Vehicle for Operation. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, love that, name. I love that name. Based. Yeah, yeah, it took us. Uh, it took us almost three months to finalize the name and the logo designing itself. It has been done in house. Okay. Yes, sir. So we uh, we are uh, India's first, you know, integrated uh, services platform. Uh, so integrated fulfillment. What that means is, you know, we do electric mobility as a service and warehousing, last mile warehousing as a service together, bundled together as a service on our platform. So this is what we are into and uh, we are excited to be here first of all and we are excited to share and tell everybody, all of your viewers to, about what we are doing in the uh, EV and warehousing space. Yeah, there were many fleet operating companies uh, as of now in India and uh, many are using electric vehicles for their services. So how Zevo is different from them and what are your USPs? Yeah, so sir, we respect, uh, you know, all the companies that are doing the sustainability business. We appreciate all of them and uh, all of us have a part to play in the uh, goal towards sustainability and net zero emissions. But how Zero differs from rest of the competition is that we are a platform which integrates, you know, mobility as a service and warehousing as a service together. So uh, for, for a company, for any company, either you get a mobility partner or you get a warehousing partner, but you don't get both together. So uh, our, our aim is to provide both services together. And we usually specialize in the hyper-local, quick uh, kind of market, you know, for all D2C brands, for our and majority of our businesses is B2B only. So that is how we differ. We uh, Our selection of vehicles is very, very particular as per the client needs. And uh, as per geographies also, we use different vehicles for different kinds of operations. So let's say in Rajasthan, where the temperature is high, so we used uh, so we use a thermal cooled uh, vehicle. We prefer them over the fixed battery non thermal cooled ones. So that is how we are different, and we are trying to integrate more and more things. Our one of our key areas for specialization is refrigeration. You know, so we are introducing uh, India's very first refrigerated EV with a range up to minus 20 degrees. So that is our crew area, uh, crucial area because everybody, all the D2C brands, everybody needs everything, you know, packed and refrigerated. So that there's a huge white space in that market. And uh, I believe it is a demand-driven market. Yeah, sure. So what is the business model of Zevo and how a user can use the Zevo services? Yes, sir. So the business model is uh, for now we're delivering for uh, the top e-commerce companies in India and FMCG companies and uh, pharmaceutical companies for now. So uh, you can book our vehicles using our application, which is the Zevo app. We have two apps. One is for the driver. One is for our clients. So you can book us using that vehicle. Uh, we are pres presently uh, present in about... Uh, eight to nine cities in India as of today. And we are rapidly expanding our target is to reach about 20 cities by uh, the end of this fiscal year. So that is there and uh, anybody including various sectors, uh, pharmaceutical, FMCG, in, and in fact, agriculture, any kind of refrigerated, all sectors can use our services, uh, you know, via our application itself. Okay. Uh, and I think the primary goal of the Zevo is to support farmers, right? So uh, what's the, what is your role in supporting the farmers by implementing the, uh, the last mile delivery options on electric vehicles? 
Yes, sir. So we we believe that uh, you know agriculture is a very important sector in India today, and it has been uh, and it is growing towards it. So we believe we have a part to reduce the cost burden on the end farmers and the end players in the market, including your fruit and vegetable vendors and all of them. You know, so uh, one of our segments is uh, driven towards agriculture. So we want to we are working with a lot of companies in the mandi space so that we can provide vehicles at the mandis, which would drastically reduce the because. EV has a cost advantage that would reduce the cost of, you know, last mile transportation for all vendors, uh, fruits and vegetable vendors, farmers alike, you know, and reducing the cost by 60%. So even if you are able to save 10,000 rupees for a farmer a month, that is a huge benefit. So we have done the pilot in a couple of mandis, one in Jaipur, one in Sonipat. We are already providing vehicles to a, a farming company in Sonipat. So we, yes, that is one of our uh, segments and we are uh, committed to growing it uh, further. Like uh, as we spoke just now, Zevo is providing refrigerated vehicle services to the customers, right? So, what is the concept yes, of these refrigerated services? And uh, did you think? Did you think uh, is there a, a big market for this? Absolutely, sir. The market is in fact very huge. Uh, temperature control delivery and maintaining the temperature is essential for uh, ensuring the quality of products that reaches the end consumer. So we are using that sector. You know, it increases the shelf life, reduces spoilage, and it maintains the product quality during the transit, which is a style, uh, which is where all of the uh, transportation companies are lacking right now. So we have made it a, a point that we uh, go into that sector and solve that problem. Uh, so our application actually triggers when there's a temperature variation of even 5%. Okay. So like I picked it up from your uh, warehouse and until the point it reaches the consumer, our application will show you the complete temperature monitoring end to end. Okay. So that is how we maintain international standards using our, uh, during our refrigerated deliveries. Okay. And this is all using electric vehicles. Okay, okay, that's a good thing. And what's the concept of this cold cold storage? And what are all the options available for the farmers for this cold storage? Uh, sir, uh, for now we have started the cold storage for our FMCG and pharmaceutical companies. Okay, you know, and uh, we are starting for other segments as well. Uh, the, the the as I told you, integrated fulfillment is uh, you know uh, providing electric mobility as a service and then warehousing as a service. So on the warehousing front, our key focus area is on uh, temperature controlled uh, you know micro warehouses. So uh, what happens is usually you see a cold storage is very outside the city limits. Yeah. So the just in time for that becomes very very long. Okay, so usually it delivers the next day or that we del we guarantee a six hour delivery for all our refrigerated products, you know, uh, and the, the advantage that we have is that it is our own uh, cold storage and it is our own uh, vehicle. So we can ensure smooth flow to the consumer. So that is where we come in. And this uh, model is unique uh, because uh, it, it is within the city limits. Yeah. It is like a, it's, a, it's like a normal dark store, which is now refrigerated and we can maintain the quality, hygiene and temperature of the uh, products that is as, as per requirement. Okay, done, done, got it. So, Zevo is using electric vehicles to offer their services. And uh, what electric uses are uh, like what electric vehicles are Zevo using, and uh, from which OEMs you are taking them? Yes, and uh, we are very selective about the OEMs that we work with. Uh, so, product testing and product quality is one of our uh, key focus areas. Okay. And uh, for now, that we're using uh, Tata, Altigreen, and Euler. Uh, later on, we are also working with uh, Switch Mobility, that is Ashok Lele and Volvo Aisher and other companies to introduce bigger segments of truck, the 2-ton, the 3-ton and the 5-ton. So yes, we are actively working with companies to launch newer and newer products into our fleet segments. Okay, are there any two-wheelers? We are starting with the two-wheeler segment, sir. I, due to confidentiality, I cannot name uh, the because we will be launching the segment somewhere in mid of November. Okay, so as of now, you are only uh, like uh, working with the uh, pharmaceuticals and uh, other FMCG like uh, B2B brands, right? Yes, we are only working with B2B brands for now. All e-commerce, uh, FMCG, pharmaceutical and QSR, all restaurants and delivery partners. Yeah, and uh, I also heard that Zevo is using solar to charge their electric vehicles. So don't you think that uh, that will increase your uh, operating or running cost? The initial investment cost in fact sir uh, so we have tied up with a company which is based out of bangalore so this is this is our major step towards net zero emissions you know charging the electric vehicles using solar power is the end goal 
everybody yeah. is working towards achieving that so our uh, research and development led us to the point that you know so we use battery enabled storage system at our uh, you know point charging point uh, we are uh, working with our uh, charging point providers also to enable the solar enabled charging and wherever we have space for our warehouses we uh, we promote using uh, solar panels through it uh, it, uh, it it does not increase the cost uh, we uh, working on our technology with the, our technology partner we bought the cost down to add power and sometimes even lower than what uh, commercial electricity rates are so this should be uh, one of our key areas uh, going ahead in the future and we want to achieve 100 percent solar charging uh, with our electric vehicles for our electric vehicles yes okay that's a very good thing and uh, what are the challenges you face to set up all these network and uh... Like, uh, I mean, this uh, electric vehicles using in last mile delivery is a very new concept in our India. So how people reacted and what are the challenges you faced in now? Sir, uh, we are mostly present in North and West right now. But yes, we, we went to some of the, uh, you know, tier two towns and people did not even know that the electric vehicle could be, uh, vehicle could be charged using electricity. Yes, so awareness, I think, has to be there. And we are uh, doing uh, things to increase the awareness overall. And uh, yes, now because uh, because everybody is, is has using is adopting, you know, more and more electric vehicles. So I think the infrastructure and the awareness will go hand in hand as we go forward. And I think the next ten to fifteen years are, are the golden years for this industry. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, uh, we wish you all the best from our Electric Vehicles India family. And uh, is there anything Thank finally you, you want to share with our audience? No, I think I think everybody should uh, play a part and join hands towards our goal towards net zero emissions. You know, even if you're not using an electric vehicle, at least you can create awareness about it and encourage others to use. Be it your small family, your two wheeler, three wheeler, whatever, uh, whichever, uh, however you can play a part in. I think everybody has a part to play in our uh, sustainability goal, and we wish uh, all of us the very best in achieving that. Yeah, at least uh, planting a sapling uh, once a year can make a huge difference in the long term. Absolutely, sir. Yeah, very likely, yeah. said. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Aditya Singh Ratnu for joining with us. So, friends, that's it for today's video. So, Mr. Aditya Singh has shared all his experience and uh, this, uh, about their services in this video. So, if you have any further doubts, please let me know in the comments. So, let's wind up the video. till cut. Let's wind up the video here. So I'll see you next video with another EV concept. Until then, uh, sir, I'll say go green. We both should say go electric. Okay. Right, sir. Yeah. Go green. Go electric. Go electric.